Okay, there had been a request that I show the back side of my operation of my 250-gallon uh, uh, reef tank upstairs. Uh, this is the downstairs fish room that handles about 450 gallons of water. And this is where I'm going to be building the new frag tank. But this used to be an old dark room. So this whole operation has been running now for over 20 years. And I'll start here to the left. Here's my water makeup uh, barrel, make up 50 gallons of, uh, well, actually about 40 gallons of salt water, uh, and about every two weeks we pump that into the system. This is a big stainless steel sink that was uh, left over from the dark room, but it's great for washing out filter socks and good stuff like that. Here's my water uh, filter over here. As you can see, we have very rusty water here in Missouri, so uh, it's about ready to be changed again. Here's my caulk washer stirrer. This actually mixes up caulk washer and at night injects it into the tank. Helps uh, regulate pH. And as we come around, here are the two primary pumps for the primary loop and the secondary loop. Now, obviously this is old stuff covered with salt and it's been running for, like I said, 20 years. These two pumps have run without any impeller changes because of these two pre-filter baskets that uh, basically make sure that there's no sediment or any type of large object that can pass through the pumps. All right. Now the primary loop pumps the water upstairs through these valves and it comes back down into the algae scrubber. Now the algae scrubber has a dump bucket that you're here dumping in the background. In fact, here it goes right, right there. That fills up about every 11 seconds and dumps water across all these LEDs down here into the algae scrubber. And this is about two inches deep and produces about oh, two pounds of algae a week. And then this is, is a mess. I know it's nasty looking, but that's where your organics are being trapped. And I lift that out of there by hand and put it in a bucket and flush it down the toilet and that's the end of my organic and organic problems. That sits on top of about a 70 gallon sump. That sump then is plumbed into this sump, which is another 50 gallons. And this is what the two protein skimmers operate off of. I have a Red Sea protein skimmer here, and then I have a handmade, a, 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 a um, homemade, five-foot-tall protein skimmer here. And between the two, they grab just about. Uh, they do a great job independently. Then behind here on the shelf is the dosers. This doser works off of this reservoir and puts in Kent Essentials, about one um, milliliter a day. So not a lot, just trace elements. Here is a two-part uh, two uh, doser, which is putting in calcium uh, and alkalinity into the tank. And that gets dosed all day long as well. I make up my own alkalinity and all my own, all my own mixtures. So I've got up here, I've got magnesium uh, chloride, calcium chloride, uh, sodium bicarbonate, uh, caulk washer, all the various chemicals necessary to keep your reef tank up and running. And then down here is a chiller. Even though the tanks run by LED, I like to keep the temperature plus or minus five degrees. It's a uh, CO500, half, half horsepower chiller. Then right up here on the wall, this is what I consider a polisher. This is a um, uh, bulk reef supply dual chamber reactor. One side I'm running carbon, the other side I'm running uh, polygen. I like to run polygen because I can restore it with bleach and use it over and over again. And this, this polisher picks off everything and gets my phosphates down to below 0.05%. So between it and the algae scrubber uh, and the protein skimmers, uh, we've got a pretty good system for growing coral. Anyway, that's basically uh, all there is to it. Oh, there's a big timer down here. This is used for turning off the system for like uh, maintenance or for uh, uh, coral feeding. You can set the timer and it'll automatically turn the pumps off and then turn everything back on again. 
once uh, everything is uh, once every once you're done with your job. But that's it, folks. Uh, that's the back backside operation of an algae turf scrubber. Getting ready to add another 200 gallons for a coral frag tank. See you later. Bye.